made the case that the ownership of bonds or bond funds in a long-term investment portfolio is an irrational idea. However, bonds aren't a completely useless asset class and they do have a place as a helpful tool in your investing toolbox. Bonds are very useful for the funding of defined capital needs that you know will require large withdrawals from your pool of capital within the next five years. If you have a looming withdrawal of a significant sum of money, like the repayment of your home mortgage, college tuition for the kids, or your daughter's wedding next summer, you can think of bonds as a great solution. The average bear market in equities for the last 100 years has taken just about 40 months to travel from bull market peak to the depths of a bear market low and then back to break even again. So let's arbitrarily say that five years is our line in the sand. Any sum due within the next five years shouldn't be exposed to the volatility of the stock market. Of course, it certainly could be given that just about 87% of all the rolling five-year periods in the S&P 500 since back in 1926 have been positive. So the odds are in favor of equities being just fine over the next five years. But assuming that you wish to run zero risk of having to tell your daughter at her wedding reception that you're not able to pay the band, I vote for a high quality bond coming due at the same time you'll need the money to pay the band. Beyond that narrow and specific purpose, it's difficult for me to understand what rational purpose bonds have in a lifetime portfolio whose primary goal is the preservation and growth of purchasing power.